Here is a second example of using Monte Carlo simulation. What is the 90th percentile of the distance between two points chosen at random in the interior of a unit square? Down below here there are three realizations and here might be the point that you pick in a uh, a unit square so each side of this square has length one that's the unit part and this point might be a random point that you choose this might be a point that uh, say your friend chooses and here is a random distance right there here's another situation unit square you pick this point your friend picks this point the distance is a little bit shorter this time third realization unit square here is your point here's your friends point way up in the right hand corner and now you have kind of a long distance between the two well the first question might be what is the random variable of interest here and the random variable of interest is x which is the distance between the two points now this distance is going to be a continuous random variable it can run anywhere from zero and zero would correspond to adjacent points all the way up to the square root of two and the square root of two would cover the uh, the situation where one point is in one corner and the other point is in the opposite corner you can go either way across there so this would correspond to the case where the points are at opposite corners of the unit square now the next thing we can do we've defined the random variable x we've defined its support now what we want to do is we want to write down its probability density function so we know the support we'll write that off to the right here and we want the probability density function if we're going at this as an analytic solution well with the tools that you have right now in probability this particular distribution is going to be seen as a nightmare um, a little bit later in the course you'll be able to do this even later it's going to be a big pain so what we're going to do is we're going to go after this purely by Monte Carlo simulation we don't know what the analytic value is and we're going to try to go after it by Monte Carlo simulation and that's done on the next page so here is some R code to, to run the Monte Carlo simulation n rep is what I usually use for the number of replications for a Monte Carlo simulation run and you can see in this case I have chosen 1 million iterations or replications of the experiment these four statements right here define the 1 million pairs of random points so what you get is you get two points the first one has coordinates x1 y1 and the next point has coordinates x2 y2 so 1 million pairs of points are generated here next if you use the distance formula that is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared you get a vector d and that vector d contains one million distances finally the last step what you do is you sort those one million distances and with that sorted vector you then pick off the 900,000th value the 900,000th sorted value and that will be what is printed out so again you never run a Monte Carlo simulation just once I made five runs of this particular code here and with each run I get a fresh set of 1 million pairs of points which means I get a fresh set of uh, distances and a fresh estimate of the 90th percentile and that's why you have five different numbers here now one question that comes up is how many digits should be reported from this you can see if you look out at these four 
rightmost digits, they are pretty much noise. But if you look at the first three, you got 859 here, this rounds to 859, this rounds to 859, this rounds to 859, this one here rounds to 858. So you could report 859, but just indicate that there is some uncertainty with that last digit as you report your uh, Monte Carlo estimate of the 90th percentile of those distances. If you wanted to remove that uncertainty about that last digit, you could do one of two things. You could either increase your number of replications, maybe from 1 million up to, say, 4 million, maybe even 9 million, and uh, see what happens. Or another thing you could do is you could make more runs, and with those more runs, you might have uh, some very large percentage, percentage of them rounding to 0.859, and that would give you more confidence in this last digit.